Thank you very much to all of you for being here. Congratulations for the first international symposium, which for me it marks an occasion, a very timely and necessary occasion. I'm here to speak about an arts center in Leiva called La Panera, which is part of a art network scattered around the Catalan region and which are public, municipal and from the regional government. So we started working in health environments as of year 2011, 2010 maybe, and well, we thought, okay, we consider ourselves to be a community-based resource. So we have to work with all possible communities, with communities that are or feel interpelled by contemporary art and communities who feel somehow apart, those who visit museums and those who don't visit museums. And the director back then, Gloria Picasso, had a previous experience in working in art in France. And in France, this approach based on art in health is, let's say, taken very differently. And in the context of that experience, we asked a grant from the Euro region to know firsthand the French model that aims at ensuring that our projects act as mediators between the community and the health environment, involving patients, health professionals, and other relevant stakeholders. From there on, we decided to start interacting with the oncologic service, and we put together, we did put together a project with the support of the European Union and the aim of the program was to open a residence of artists in this pediatric oncologic unit based on a methodology called design thinking. So through design thinking, we wanted to see how artists can, let's say, detect insights and doing so from a cultural and health approach combined to try and solve human needs, which might be, for example, rethinking protocols, redefining protocols, improving communication between patients and doctors, raising awareness about how to, let's say, engage patients that have undergone radio therapy, breaking a stigma around cancer, amongst others. The program that I will present today is the last residence that we are now managing, not in Bilanova Hospital, which is the hospital in which we have hosted seven art residences, but this residence is taking place in a Leda primary health care center in collaboration with Lara Fluxan. The artist is Lara Fluxan. Lara Fluxan has prepared a project entitled Lupe, and after several joint meetings, she wanted to see whether the object, or rather, an art object contribute to improving communication between patients and health professionals. And all this with the... I mean, so all these projects have something in common, which is that they all are based on a co-creation process. It's not like there's an artist that is placed in a random environment like the subway, for example. No. It's a project that is created within this very specific context 
And this is the main difference of these residents of this project. Now, Lara We decided to focus on a specific conditions, tobacconisms, anxiety, self-esteem, psycholoma, and some other conditions. So these conditions, this disease, well, some of them are related or are, yeah, are related to mental health, and others are more, let's say, physical. And Lara's task has been to try and understand how doctors communicate to the patients about their disease, right, about their conditions. When it, now, regarding methodology, we have had several meetings between the artists and health professionals around this productions, which are the artist's own productions. Recently, she was the representative of the Catalan Pavilion in the Venice Biennale. She works with glass, buffered glass, which is how fragile it makes us. I mean, we all feel fragile, right? When we experience a new condition or a new situation when we feel ill. Now, what really is important here also is to see how health professionals speak about our health through internet images or schemes. And we worked on this. We have been working with these images. And you can see here a health professional from this primary health Center, center drawing a little image, and Lara prototyped these schemes through a more artistic way. Here we have some notes about the process. It's all about the spotting a need, meeting, speaking about it, and transferring knowledge between the health and the cultural domains. Here we have some important elements to bear in mind. It is important to frame research because artists, beyond being artists, they carry out their research in an environment which is not the health environment, but not the artistic environment, but the health environment. But of course, they need to work in partnership with health professionals and not only health professionals, but many other stakeholders, parents, children. And of course, prejudice is never a good ally. So co-creation, as I've said before, is one of the pillars of the project that we have promoted up to date. We need to make the most of the artist's expertise in the area of visual arts, which at the end of the day is a way to also raise awareness about elements that oftentimes go unnoticed. And there's one last stage, which is evaluation. I hope that in this conference, we'll find formula that we can share. I urge you to find prototypes and share them with us. We'll be more than happy to use them. Here we have a specific example about how we work down this line. Now, on the right hand side, in the left hand side of the screen, you can see the images of these prototypes, which are some sort of strange inwards or outwards shapes, and the artist develops all these prototypes with the relevant packaging, which will be used in a pilot stage. For us, 
throughout all these years, as I said before, we started our partnership in 2011, and we realized that before starting the implementation of the project, it took a while. So I urge you to use as much time as necessary in this stage, because it's only then that we can come up with a common language. And sometimes it's not easy. And we need to find also common objectives that do not divert the essence of the, let's say, practice in both domains, culture and health. So what would be the different stages? The problem first, what we want to research about and how we want to do it, the, let's say, formalization of the research. And here is where, well, we are an arts center, but there are many other languages that one can use that can have a direct impact. We came up with a list of conditions, a long one, and we have tried and see if it's visible from a technical perspective and from a communication perspective or from a priority perspective. And we've done that by health team. Last, there's this production. Sajas. Now it comes to partners. Now, health. So the array of possibilities that they offer in their in the framework of this program, they, there is a very extensive list of activities that contribute to the improvement of health in the community. And I believe that all cultural equipment should join efforts and contribute to the development of projects from different fields with a common objective. Here is another example on how we have, let's say, approach Here we have a clot obstruction, the image of a clot obstruction produced as a result of cholesterol. If I say some silly things, please let me know. I'm no, not a doctor. And this is the way to Here's a picture of the team that has participated in the, to the project. And I really, really urge you to develop synergies with others. Because as I said before, first and foremost, it's all about building trust, understanding that from art and the culture as the previous speaker said we can build 
we can we can contribute to the feeling of belonging in this case it's not about the community but about improving communication between doctors and patients after such a long time implementing this project i believe there's quite a lot of work ahead and i also believe that we can contribute to the common good so i urge you to start thinking and reflecting one with another to shape new and very interesting projects thank you